Welcome back to Autodesk Maya. In this tutorial, we're going to explore uh, some basically quality settings for the uh, render, the Arnold render in um, Maya. So uh, by default, this is should be set to Arnold render, but you may have the Maya software or some other guy selected here in your render settings. By the way, if you don't have your render settings set up, you can click on this little chain wick guy and that opens up the render settings tab, which is open. Um, you can also go under the rendering tab here and under uh, render, go down to render settings, that's another area to find it. Um, I have it on my custom shelf, uh, so you can also do it that way. Actually, I don't have it on my custom shelf, I thought I did, uh, but I can add it very easily just by going to render, render settings, and then hitting control shift or command shift on the Mac, and there it is. So there's my, uh, now it's a, my custom shelf. So under the common category, I had these set up for um, PNG file. I had um, a render sequence here that I just rendered out. Uh, the quality, image quality was 1280 by 720, which is HD720. You can click in the drop down menu and choose whatever preset you want. Um, and, and by default, this is usually set to single frame, which are these two options here. Uh, I switch it to the name, number, and extension, which allows me to render out an image sequence. At that point, by default, I believe this gives you like a sampling of four for padding. And you can see what's happening here uh, dynamically. It's adding padding to the extension number. So it goes 0.0001.png. Uh, so you drag this all the way to the left. So just so you know, uh, if you want to start with just one. And then here, uh, the frame range, you determine the frame range how many frames you want. In this case, we had 200 frames for this animation here. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the common area that we had set up. Under the system, uh, just so we have a better render in the preview here, I set the initial sampling of three. It was negative three by default. Here is where the magic happens though. It's in the Arnold renderer category. Now a lot of this has to do with your light setup. And currently I have the sunlight in here uh, which if I open up in the attribute editor, click on the attribute editor, I have it selected here, and um, scroll down, basically I have the intensity set to four, and down here at the bottom I have um, use ray trace shadows checked, and then I have light angle 10 and 10 and 10. This is usually what I have just as a starting point. So I don't have any changes here for the rendering too much. And if I left these the default set, uh, settings here, this is what the render would look like. If I open it up, this is the render and it would take 23 seconds to render. Uh, but I want you to notice that if we zoom in on this, especially all the sort of noise that's happening in the shadow, there's not much um, bounce light or anything going on in the image. If we move over to this higher res image here, notice the render time has dramatically increased as three minutes and 47 seconds. However, we have smooth shadows, uh, nice transitions. We have a lot of what's called bounce light from the lighting where here it doesn't have, here it does. Uh, the shadows are smoother, they're more refined. Uh, overall, just a better render. So how do you get this? Well, uh, basically it's increasing two areas, the sampling and the ray depth. So in here and their sampling, I believe most of these are set to default except for Diffuse, I increase that up to six. I believe this is set to two. And then um, the refraction I set up to six. And then these two, I think I set up to four and they originally two. Um, we can go to edit and, or presets. Let's see, there should be a reset button. No, I guess there isn't. I thought there was a reset option in here. Most windows in um, Maya allow you to um, uh, reset this the settings here to the standard um, I'd have to open a new file to do it but uh, again these are much lower and realize you can go a lot higher you can see here uh, the diffuse sample you can go a max of 360 which would be crazy uh, sampling and um, all that re basically increases render time so and then ray depth down here this is the amount of rays basically the way the light bounces back and forth how many times it goes back and forth. So diffuse I think is set to one normally and I set to five samples here. So we're gonna get a lot more bounce light happening from there. Uh, both reflection and refraction are set to eight. 
And so those, again, have tremendous impact on the quality of the render, but also the render uh, capability. Now, I don't recommend, you know, cranking these up super high, like to 360, unless you're doing something for film, uh, you know, for visual effects for some particular film or something. Um, but, you know, you could experiment some higher numbers, some lower numbers, and see, you know, uh, what, what it would look like for a particular render. I recommend using a simpler model. This one has a, and probably a, a, um, a lower res would help too for the scene. Um, by default, the settings for the resolution is the 540, I believe. And this one is 12, 1280 by 720. So, uh, but there is a huge difference in the render from here to here. It's just unfortunately it requires so much more time. I mean, 23 seconds to three minutes and 47 seconds. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial on the render settings in Maya. Again, explore adding these additional numbers. It's primarily in the Arnold render after you've gone through the, the common and chosen your file format, which I have PNG here. Whether you want a single frame or an image sequence. Um, and if you do want image sequence to determine the end frame, one important aspect about um, where you're rendering from is the type of camera you're choosing. So you can see here, I have a special camera so, uh, set up called Shot Cam, but I'm currently using the perspective camera. So make sure you choose the right camera um, and always do a test render. And then uh, the presets here, uh, again, I use the uh, the higher, slightly higher, the 540 is quite a bit lower. You'll see here in the render settings, so that'll save on time. So anytime I, I again, adjust the, the resolution settings in here, I would render at the lowest resolution just to start off. You know and, and then experiment um, the last thing i want to show is if you want to do a render sequence you go into the rendering tab and uh, so by default this is set to modeling switch to uh, rendering and go down to render and choose the uh, batch render option here just click on that and that will start your sequence now uh, if you have the education or student version uh, you'll get the Arnold render, you'll get the um, the ghosting of the text on there. So if you want to get rid of that, choose the render sequence here. Unfortunately, what will happen is it'll render in the frame. It'll just take longer to render, but it does work. So just realize that is an option there. So uh, until next time, uh, see you soon in Autodesk Maya. Cheers.